Hi, my name is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today I am using the Felicity Jane Rebecca kit to make a layout about my daughter swatching lip gloss on her hand. Now I have a YouTube channel for beauty and my daughter watches me make YouTube videos and how I swatch products on my hand and so she's doing the same here. I found this 12 by 12 white paper and it's got the teeniest tiniest plus signs on there and so I'm going to use that as my white background and I'm looking at these rubber labels no they're not really labels but rubber tags and I want to make sure I include them in this layout so I pulled them out I haven't decided which one I'm going to do now I'm fussy cutting all these scallops out um, this is on the bottom of the little 6 by 12 paper that announces which kit this is. Um, I cut out the little scraps of paper as well and then I cut the scallops out to use them as part of my embellishment. Now I'm going to start layering um, this picture. I just go through the scraps of paper I have from after I finish my last kit um, and I just uh, layer them on. That, I always put the adhesive in the middle so that I could put pop dots on the back of the layers to add dimension. Um, that piece right there, the r pink and white striped, is from the uh, 6 by 12 sheet announcing which uh, kit this is. I love, love, love this cheetah print and I love that she added this um, because it's so in style right now. I decide to use that dark rose pink scallop on the bottom of my picture and I'm going to put it right under the picture as one of my layers. I'm trying to decide which other layers I'm going to add. I add that pink and white striped onto the top as an extra layer. Um, you can see I'm having a little problem with adhering that down. I cut off the ex excess because I only want a little bit showing because that's how I'm doing the layers. I thought about putting the green and white striped on the left hand side but then I put this yellow gingham instead. It was too much of a contrast or no it was too dark with the cheetah print and the green and white as well. I got another uh, black mark on the white cardstock I think it's from my nail polish so I had to erase that out because it was starting to bug me. Now I'm going through the other scraps that I have trying to decide what to do. Um, I'm looking at this particular 12 by 12 and it's too busy for me to use as a background so I'm going to use that as part of another layout but I go ahead and cut out the middle portion so I can use those scraps. I decide to make a banner and I'm going to cut the fishtail out of it, but then I decide it's too thick so I went ahead and made it a little thinner. I'm going to put that on the top right corner of my layout. Now I'm going through the embellishments and trying to decide which embellishments I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use that tag or that little label to stamp the date. I just go through all the vellum hearts because I want to use those embellishments as well. You'll see here that I can't quite make up my mind on what to do on that top right hand embellishment cluster. Um, I went with the uh, the white heart, the white vellum heart, because you can still see it as an outline, as a layer. Um, then I decide I'm going to go ahead and put pop dots on the, behind the, pic, the layers to give it some dimension. I also add one of the mustard yellow paper clips that I ordered. Did I order that or yeah I think I ordered that. Oh I can't remember now if it came in the kit. Well I also used this smile puffy sticker that came with the kit and I think I'm going to put that on the bottom portion of my picture. Fuss with this scallop portion again because I only want a little bit of it to show. Then I'm going to go and do my journaling. The journaling I wrote, monkey see, monkey do, Kaya, you watch me make YouTube videos and watch them with me. You love getting in front of my lights and swatching makeup. I love you. 
Now I'm stamping the date out using stays on ink because this is a slickery label. So I go ahead and stamp that out. And then I remember that I want you to use um, the rubber tags. So I go ahead and start um, ad adhering the top right cluster that I'm going to use. And I'm trying to remember to put the vellum down, but I also don't want the adhesive to show, so I make sure I can get that in. I put the adhesive on top of the vellum this time because I know that the date hasn't dried off yet. So here's where I start going through the um, rubber tags, and I decide to put the tag that says today on that top right hand corner. Now I decide I think I'm going to thread this, but that hole is so tiny that it wouldn't work. So I give up on that and I just put adhesive behind it and um, put that on the top right hand corner, but I have to move the heart and the date around. Again, thank goodness for repositionable adhesive. I think that stuff was made for me. <laughs> so I put that down and I put the label with the date under the today. I think I'm going to add more embellishments. Um, first, I put down the smile sticker on the bottom portion of the photo. Then I go through the vellum hearts again and decide I'm going to put the red with the white polka dot vellum on the left bottom corner. So I'm going to make this a triangle from the top right to the bottom of the left photo to the bottom right hand of the photo of the layout. That's going to be my three clusters. <clears throat> I decide I'm going to put more um, embellishment to the top right corner. I try that, that leaf thing first, and then I decide I don't like it, so I'm going to take that out and put something else there instead. I'm working on the clusters that are on the bottom left-hand portion of my um, photo. I put several of the die cuts from there, from the kit, onto the bottom left hand corner. I also use pop dots to add dimension to some of these embellishments as well, especially that orange flower. And I'm going to add more of the leaves and stuff to the bottom left hand corner of the photo as well as move the leaves or whatever those are on the top right hand corner and put a leaf in instead to make it a little bit smaller and more um, clustered together. So after I hear that down, I'm going to go finish um, putting more embellishments to the bottom left corner of my photo. Then I also want to do the title, and so I use the puffy stickers that came with the kit. It's a white puffy sticker, puffy letters, and I title mine Swatch, since she's swatching um, lipstick, uh, lip gloss onto her hand. After I spell that out, I try to decide where I'm going to put it. If I'm going to put the title on the picture or above the picture, I decide to go ahead and do it above the picture. And so I want the end of the word to come to the right hand end of the photo. So I place the word backwards. Now I decide I'm going to tear the bottom right hand corner. Excuse the little fingers. That's my daughter's hand. She wants to be in this video so bad. So she's watching me as I place this uh, scrap of paper underneath so that it, you can see that this, uh, as this is part of the background from where I ripped the paper. Next, to add more dimension, I'm going to use my tiny attacher and I'm going to go ahead and staple that down. And then I'm going to add some layers to that. Ugh, another black, and, black mark from my nail polish. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, I'm trying to decide if I should add more rubber tags. I decide I'm going to put one that says happy onto the top left portion of my, um, on my picture. I know that makes it four again. Oh, I keep doing that. I notice these things after I'm done, um, when I'm doing my voiceover. My daughter put her hand out there. She wanted to show that she had taped a heart vellum to a scallop. So I decide I'm going to put a heart vellum, the white with the black polka dots, onto the bottom right hand portion of my page. And I'm also going to put a flower down there. But before I tear it down, I um, make sure it's going to fit. I go ahead and do that. 
and then I think, okay, I, what else can I add to this layout? I go ahead and cut the bottom portion of that flower that comes off the layout, cut that off, and then I add more leaves to the bottom left-hand corner of my photo just to add more embellishments. That one that I'm putting on now is the one I initially had on the top right-hand corner of the page. Since it already had adhesive down, I wanted to go ahead and use that. Then I'm adding more leaves on that one as well. So then now I look at my layout and I decide what else do I need to do on this uh, layout. I decide to put ink splotches and so I use a Heidi Swap Gold and the Heidi Swap um, Black. Now I want to do big drops so I try to just be patient and wait for it to make big drops onto my layout. My daughter wants to do this <laughs> so bad I do end up letting her do that on her layout just so you know. <laughs> Um, you can see her little hands there trying to get to my get to my layout. Now that completes my layout. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you ne next time.